Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? So I was able to check out I Am Athletes, Jamal Charlo and Jamel Charlo interview. Shout out to Brandon Marshall. Shout out to Deshaun Jackson, two guys that I loved watching in the NFL. Um, You know, they had the Charlo twins on their show, man. It was a great interview, a great show. They really just let the brothers talk. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know, bro, we boxing fans, we know what type of energy the Charlo twins bring. If you've been watching these guys over the last five to seven to ten years, however long y'all been watching them. Um, And they just let them talk. That's their personality, man. You put them in front of a camera and they just let they they true emotions and they true energy just flow. They don't hold nothing back. They just be themselves. You dig what I'm saying? And, um... It was a really good interview. A couple of takeaways, man. Um, Jamel Charlo, they, it's funny that they talked about separation anxiety. You know, um, how, you know, coming up, especially, you know, uh, in the amateurs and then early on turning pro, how once they started to, and Jamal Charlo spoke to this the most, once they started to have their own business that, that they had to attend to, them being twins like this is really legendary shit two twins that are both world champions you know what i'm saying like crazy shit but you know when they got to that space to where they both had to have you know separate things business that they had to attend to it was a level of separation anxiety that they had to deal with jamal charlo who is the older brother um the older twin jamal charlo the younger twin actually went pro first and Jamal Charlo, who was still in the amateur ranks building himself up at the time, and I didn't know this, he was actually roommates with Earl Spence during a lot of his uh, amateur career. And, you know, Earl was telling him, like, man, you need to go on and turn pro like your brother and shit like that. And Jamal was kind of like, he said that when, you know, he never really got that type of motivation and that energy that he needed from anybody else but Jamel Charlo, and when Jamel wasn't around, he went pro, doing working on his pro career, and Jamal still building up his amateur career, you know, he felt the level of se- separation and anxiety. Well, speaking of separation, Jamel Charlo just furthermore continues to separate himself. Um, you know, at one point, you know, you could see that th- th- those guys, they was bumping heads, and, you know, um, this is always a level of fiery competition there. They brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that having a brother myself, I understand what that's like. But being twins and being in the same craft and sport is a totally different thing. And y'all, like, constantly comparing yourself to each other. And, you you know, both of y'all want to be great. And at some point, Jamel Charlo, just instead of just talking, he actually like went out there and did that shit and separated himself and i started to see that shift take place slowly but surely jamel charlo just started talking different he just started being more intentional he started being more focused he started he always been a dog he always been a killer but he it just seemed like something was a little bit more intentional with jamel charlo and you know chasing greatness wanting to be undisputed man and just really putting that work in and Listening to that interview, it just even furthermore shows more separation where Jamel Charlo is just the way he think, man. Like he more on some dog shit, on some killer shit. You feel me? And Jamal Charlo, even though, you know, he a world champion, two division world champion, undefeated fighter, a a fantastic fighter. Both of these guys are fantastic fighters. But it is something different mentally and in the heart with these guys um, what that separate them. And like Jamel Charlo, I didn't even know this was the whole um, ideology or the, the meaning behind him calling himself the Iron Man. He said that Kenny Porter actually called him that. And he said that the reason why he takes on that moniker is because Tony Stark, the Iron Man character, he has like that, that um, you know, that got them, that light inside his chest that really powers his whole suit it's like it's his heart so to speak it powers him and you can put it in you can unscrew that bitch and take it out and Jamil Charlo was like the meaning behind me calling myself the Iron Man is because 
you can unscrew my heart. Like, you could take, you could, when I go into these fights, bro, I ain't, I'm not trying to be your friend. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, Brandon Marshall asked a great question, like, are y'all sophisticated? He brought up the George Foreman uh, example, because George Foreman said that he had been out, you know, he retired for 10 years, came back, and it wasn't the same. He was just doing it for the money. He had became, quote, unquote, sophisticated, where now he worried about, damn, if I hit this motherfucker with this, with this left hook and knock him out, and he laid unconscious on the floor, he feeling bad about the shit. Jamel Charlo was like, yeah, I'm sophisticated, but in a different way. He said, with this boxing shit, it's still, we dying about this. You feel me? He said, growing up our whole life, my, my pops always told me, bro, that, that man over there across from you, bro, he trying to kill you, bro. He trying to kill you. You dig what I'm saying? So, Jamel Charlo was basically like, bro, as the Iron Man, bro, you can unscrew my heart, bro. I go in that bitch without, like, no feelings. I'm trying to murder shit. You know what I'm saying? Just straight like that. I'm trying to murder shit, bro. But, you know, man, it's a really good interview, man. Y'all got to go watch it. Jamel Charlo is my favorite fighter, bro. And it's because of these reasons. He, du he don't duck no smoke. He want to be the best. He want to be the greatest. He want to fight all the, the top guys. And he a fucking killer, bro. Like, he willing to die in that ring, bro. I love that shit about Jamel Charlo. You going to get your money's worth. When you see him fight, you know he trying to take your head off. He's a, a, a an incredibly skilled fighter, a total package, complete fighter when he put it all together, just like you saw in that Brian Castano rematch, you know what I'm saying, for Undisputed. And, bro, this, a lot of fighters can learn a lot from Jamel Charlo, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. If y'all watched the interview, tell me what other takeaways that y'all had. And if y'all didn't, please go back and check it out. It's a great interview, man. Contender Regime Boxing. I'll holler at y'all, boys, man.